Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin. Old Pueblo Coin, that's us here in Tucson. Uh, brick and mortar store, by the way, just so you know, and an eBay and online presence. By the way, um, stuff that's on eBay and online, it's cheaper if you buy it online on our website, oldpueblocoin.com, uh, than it is if you try to purchase it on the eBay. That's just like a thing that happens because eBay has extra fees that we pay. So you pay, right? That's how the world works. And this is a follow-up video to talk about uh, what's happening with the Vault Box. For those of you who don't know, Vault Box um, is a company that is kind of trying to revolutionize areas of the collecting market uh, by changing the uh, grading system from a 70-point scale to a 10-point scale and also trying to create excitement around coin collecting uh, the same way that um, people who pull uh, who pull cards like baseball cards would do from a, from a new pack and so that's a little bit of what the concept is is like so they actually publish a list of all of their coins uh, that are going to be in a series this was series one and uh, so we got uh, we got together and went ahead and bought four boxes and decided to try that if you haven't seen that video you can click on the link and watch. Well, since then, there's been a few developments. We just wanted to follow up and talk to you about kind of what Vault Box is doing now with their uh, product. Uh, we're improving our website. Uh, for Series 1 release, our servers were overwhelmed and um, leading to website crashes. Now that we've made it through the first launch, we have a much better idea of what we can expect. For Series 2, we've made changes to ensure that we are ready for the launch. Uh, as someone who owns websites but doesn't know how they operate, I can feel a lot of pain and sympathy for <laughs> for Vaultbox. You know, uh, their their servers went down, they crashed, um, and so uh, you know that's a technical problem they can get after. Box weights correlating to contents. We've listened to feedback from our community and have implemented measures to randomize box weights. This is fun. I mean, I think this is a kind of cool idea. Now, have you ever been to the store and you see guys like in the toy section and there's these little packages that you can't see what's in it? It'll have like a little Lego figure and you see the guys like squeezing it to try to figure out what the figure is inside. Well, you don't really get that chance with the vault box because they just send you what they send you. But if you get it in and you put it on a scale and you can kind of guess what's in the box, you can decide, hey, uh... I'm going to pass on this box and I'm going to put on eBay instead and try to get my money back out of it because the guys who put them on eBay right away made money. So these boxes were $595, $595 each. They have three coins in them, right? So the people who took the boxes and flipped them on eBay right away were selling them for $700, $800, $900. Uh, and so those are the people who made money on this deal more than anyone else. Uh, of course, the whole weight thing does pose a problem when you're trying to get, uh, you don't know if there's, you know, three silver eagles in them. If one of them is the 95W, you can't tell what's, what that is, right? Because that's the rare coin in the series. And so you would not be able to tell that just based on the weight. But they're going to do something to randomize box weights, which I think is is fun. Maybe they can throw a few Littleton coins in there in, uh, in their plastic holders that they came back in, right? Um each box will have greater coin variety. In Series 1, some collectors were frustrated to open box that contained three American Silver Eagles. We envision Vault Box as a fun way to experience new coins, and we believe adding more variety to each box is key to the goal. In Series 2, no box will contain three Silver Eagles unless one of those Silver Eagles is a Red Core Series hit. Um, you know, this is interesting because you know, the whole thing about this is the... Uh, uh, randomization but then again they're gonna say they're not gonna it was supposed to be random when I think of randomized right you think of like a shuffling a deck of cards that's clearly not what they're doing here because they are they are so vault box themselves does not put the coins in the box NGC does but NGC has their marching orders from vault boxes as far as like what goes in the boxes so it may be, uh, in my opinion, they would probably take one of column A, one of column B, and one of column C. To, in, so each of those columns will be randomized, but what goes in the box, it's, it's specific for this, this, and this, right? Um, and we saw that when we saw our coin results. And we're talking about our coin results here in just a minute. Um, 
more value per, per box, one of our biggest sources of inspiration for Vault Box was uh, the idea that every single item pulled from a box should feel valuable. No junk wax. I need help on that one. Can y'all, some of you guys, what, what does no junk wax mean? Right? Cleaning your ears out? What are we talking about? Someone's going to have to explain it to me because I really don't know what that means. We accomplished this in Series 1 by only including precious metal coins. For Series 2, we're doubling down on this idea by raising the average value per box. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Better communication leading up to launch day. We love that you're as excited as we are. Going forward, we will be more communicative to ensure that we keep the Vault Box community up to date. That one I don't know about. I didn't. I uh, I don't know what communications they were or weren't doing, where people were getting it from or weren't getting it from. Uh, so I'm not sure on that one. But I want to talk about the value. You know, he's talking about the value of what was in the boxes. And so we have a chart here that shows uh, kind of what we got in the four boxes and what the values were uh, based on the offers generated. When you look at this chart, that's when, when I say that it's like they're pulling a coin from column A, a coin from column B, and a coin from column C. You understand that we could only order two boxes each. So I ordered two boxes, the engineer ordered two boxes, which I still have to pay him for. And you look at these and the uh, total offers were the same for our two boxes. In other words, I had a box that, uh, Vault Box, by the way, just to be clear, they offer money for what you have, right? So you get to pull, it's like a lottery ticket, right? You can just pull it and scan it and re, you know get, get the money right then and there, right? So we had our exact offers of 267, on one box each and 347 on one box each. Uh, we put the coins on eBay uh, to try to recuperate a little bit more of the value uh, on said boxes. Uh, by the way, between the two of us, we've got uh, five silver eagles and one uh, one tenth ounce each, right? So uh, between the two boxes, we got um, tens. Uh, Math, please. Ten silver eagles. The four boxes. Ten silver eagles and two one tenth ounce gold eagles. So on eBay, we netted uh, 544, 453, 576, 639. Uh, not not counting our eBay fees, which of course lowers the lowers the money and all that stuff. But uh, so we actually got um, almost back to our purchase price. Uh, you know, like ten or fifteen percent shy, fifteen percent shy of our purchase price on those. And uh, it's, it's an interesting little process. Um, once again, obviously the big draw here still to me is the gambling and that's, that's really what it appeals to the most, um, which is kind of a shame for me because I like the concept of changing modern coin grading. I don't want, uh, I, don't th I don't think that we should have coin grading for uh, modern silver eagles be on a 70 point scale. I like the 10 point scale um, and I also use uh, like the use of scanners and um, robotics and whatever uh, you know artificial intelligence to grade modern coins. I don't I don't think there's a need to have humans try to determine the difference between a uh, a ten and a nine point nine. I don't I don't see how that's really necessary. So, uh, but we'll anyway we'll see what happens with this. I know some of you guys uh, like to gamble, and most of you I know have made fun of Vault Box a little bit. But it's clearly a popular thing and you need to understand for people who are into just coin collecting and like the older numismatic coins, you kind of have to have an idea about what's going on in this world over here in the vault box world because it's, it really has crossover effect to the rest of the marketplace, right? It has an effect of how a portion of people who are getting into coin collecting view coins and coin collecting. Uh, for good or for bad, right? This is something that happens. So you need to at least be educated about what's going on and uh, and how this all works. And so that's what we do. I mean, education's one of the key words and the things, right? Right, right. Here you got money, history, and education. So we always want to be able to talk to people about what's going on in the marketplace and and try to just just try to be real about what we're seeing out there, right? So. 
Uh, anyways, guys, leave your comments down below on the vault box experience if you had one yourself. And uh, we'll see where this all leads. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.